Hello today, it's lovely to be with you again. Our five minute sem seminar subject today is the high ground of love. Now God wants us to live on the high ground, not on the low ground. He wants us to live on the mountaintops, the high ground of love. He said that we're to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Now, we know that if, if that love is manifest in the world, it's an unselfish love. So we need leaders who, uh, who bring this love to the body of Christ and who are unselfish. Who, where, when we have our own agenda in life, it means that we, we've got a self-interest. But Jesus came, you know, he was the Son of God who, be, who came to the earth and became the Son of Man. He came as the servant to us all, even though he was the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he came and although he owned everything, the scripture says he had nowhere to lay his head. In other words, he chose to walk as a simple person, as a servant to us all. And he said to the children, suffer the little children to come unto me. He always had interest in anyone that came. There was a woman that came who had a great issue of blood. And for 12 years she'd gone to the doctors. But, but she, she was determined to try and get to Jesus to receive healing. When she arrived there, there was a great crowd all around Jesus. And, uh, and she couldn't get anywhere close. But she determined in her heart that if she could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment that she would be healed. She got down on her knees on the dusty road and made her way through the legs of people and in the, in the distance she could see the hem of Jesus' garment. And her faith said, if only I could touch the hem of his garment I know I'd be healed. And finally she, she no doubt got kicked and and bruised by people as she as she made as she struggled to make her way finally she reached out and touched and Jesus turned around and said who touched me and they said oh there's people all around you lord yes but he said i uh, this was a different touch it was the touch of faith and the woman owned up and he said to that woman he said oh great is your faith be healed and so the, the love of God is so merciful, is so interested in, in, in helping the downtrodden. And, and sometimes in our relationships we are so caught up in what we want and what, uh, what we'd like to be able to get in life. But God gives us the opportunity to take on the Spirit of Christ. He says that we're to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Now true love will look at a person with their needs, and instead of judging them because of their needs, they'll see that behind that, behind that difficulty, behind that struggle, uh, is really a spiritual force wor wor working in the, against their life to drag them down. But God sees the value of the heart. The Apostle Paul said, I'm determined to know nothing among you, save Christ and him crucified. And so we need to take the high ground of love. What a wonderful thing it is. You know, in Ezekiel chapter 36, it, God says, a new heart and a new spirit will I put within you. That's, the, that's what God wants to do. And so will you join me and let our, let our hearts be filled with the love of God. Uh, and and then, then we'll love ourselves as well in the right kind of way. But let's reach out to the needy ones that we see around us and throughout this terribly suffering world. Let's take the high ground of love. God bless you.